I'm Pastor Juma, and I want to welcome you to this wonderful session of Hearing the Word of God. Uh, we want to thank you all who are tuni tuning in, and uh, we are doing this just because of you, that you may have fellowship with us and have fellowship with other saints as we look at what God is saying at moments like this. At <clears throat> the time we are living in, things seem to be not running in the normal way. Things seem to be very tough. But we want to thank God because of the voice of God and what God is speaking to his people and to the world at this moment. So I want to welcome you to a very short sermon on the comfort God is giving his people. But before I do that, I want to tell a story. One time I was outside my, my house and my kids were playing in the yard. Then one of my sons hurt himself. And I was standing there at the entrance of the house. So the boy started crying with pain. And then he started running towards the house. So as the father was standing there, wanting to receive my, my boy who was in pain, and the boy just comes and passes me, shwap, and goes to the house and runs to the hands of the mother. And then I thought, I thought this guy would come to me, but he went to the mother. So what I learned that time was, maybe if this boy ran to me, I would have judged him. I would have asked, what were you doing before you were hurt? What happened? And all this. But when he went to the mother, the mother offered him comfort. That is what he needed. And he went in crying. But after a moment, he was taken in the lap of the mother. And he cuddled at the, uh, at the, at the arms of the mother. And he stopped crying. What do I want to say? The scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 tells us a story of a nation of Israel that was in a tough time. Things were not running as they were useful. Things were so tough to this nation. And the prophet, the man of God, comes in with a word. And the word is uh, from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1. I read up to verse 3. And the Bible says, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sins has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. These are short words of Isaiah as an introduction to chapter 40. He's saying, comfort, comfort my people. This is what the Lord is saying. At this moment, the world we live in has changed. People have pain. People have lost their dear ones. People are wondering where is our help. We as the church, in the, like in the place of Isaiah, we are the voice of God. And the voice of God, we are speaking to the nations, we are speaking to the people of the world, that comfort, comfort is yours. This is what the Lord is saying. How is this comfort coming in? Number one, Isaiah says, tell Jerusalem, tell Israel, tell the people of God, tell the people of the world, their sins have been forgiven. You see, before a disaster comes, there is some things people do that are evil. The world has been living the way it wanted. People have been doing the things they wanted. People have been just been perverse, doing things that don't please God. But God is saying in a moment like this, we can comfort the world by saying, God is a forgiving God. And in, when he punishes us, if we turn to him, he forgives our sins. And even in Chronicles, the Bible says, he will forgive our sins. And after he has forgived, forgiven our sins, he heals our land. So point 
Number one, I want to repeat it. Our sins are forgiven. The people. We can find comfort in this. The church, we can find comfort in this. That God is forgiving our sins. And this punishment that is tormenting people of the world will not continue going that way because God is a gracious God and he loves people. Point number two. Point number two is that God has taken away a dis the disaster he made for us. As Isaiah was speaking to these people, they were short uh, of being taken into captivity. And they went ahead and they were taken into captivity. But God, being a good God, didn't leave Israel in captivity. He changed the calamity. He removed them from a disaster and brought them to a place where he said he will rebuild Jerusalem again. So people, I want to encourage us. I want to plead with us. Let's, let us not look at this as if as the world is ending. God has a wonderful purpose for his people. God has wonderful things for his people. God is planning wonderful things for the people of the world. I, I was looking at the scenario of Italy, and I was saying, God, you are so gracious. Italy had everything. Everybody would look at and say, medically they are sound. But when this corona thing came in, Italy was left without comfort. Italy tried to do everything they could do, but they didn't find help in those things until the prime minister stopped and said, we have tried, we have done everything we could do, but we, are, we have exhausted all our capabilities. Our help will not come from anywhere else but from the sky. He was just being politically correct. But what he was saying, that our, their help was not coming from the sky up there. It was coming from God, the God of Israel, the God who is merciful, the God who forgives our sins. So everybody who is listening to me, you have a point. Everybody who is watching this, you have a point to have the consolation of the Lord in your heart. That the sins of the world have been forgiven. And the Lord will not punish us that severe with corona. The Lord is going to take the disaster away. So we have a reason to be comforted. Thank you very much for listening to this. Be encouraged. Be lifted in your spirit. And know that the Lord, our God, is with us. Amen. God bless you so much.